The celebration of this year's Workers' Day, which was held at the MQ Abiola Stadium, Abeokuta, was devoid of the usual coloration as the workers failed to turn up massively for the rally. This theme for this year's celebration tag, the working class and quest for socio-economic revival, was meant to draw attention of government at all levels to the plight of Nigerian workers following the lingering economic downturn. In his address at the event, the chairman of the Nigerian Labour Congress in the state, Hakim Ambali, said workers in the state are in full support of the upward review of the minimum wage in the country. Labour acknowledge the numerous economic challenges confronting Adiasi. We are ever known that since all traders, investors, and prison farmers now are purchasing power for public service, the government must improve upon the payment system currently in place. Payment of less, less salary is no longer acceptable to work. We prefer our salary to be paid in growth. Also in his address, the chairman of the Trade Union Congress in the state, Olubumi Vijabi, said Nigerian workers are operating under a difficult situation, calling on government to put in place necessary measures to address the situation. Labour nationally has called for an upper review of the existing minimum wage for 56,000 men. This has become necessary as present and the present one formally elapsed on 24th of March 2016. Indeed, even before we submit our proposal, we expect federal government to appoint committee to handle the issue. The issue. Never equally expect that no state government will dare claim that the state cannot afford the increase. In this remarks, Governor Bikuli Amosu, who lauded the resilience of the Nigerian workers, said his administration will continue to nurture the existing peaceful relationship with workers in the state. It is the work of all of us. Everybody, we should continue with what we are doing, such that there is only one way to go, to increase our idea. Until when we do that, miracle cannot happen beyond what is happening now. We also appeal to the leaders of the union to show more understanding as the reality of the lingering economic situation is glaring to all.